In an early project phase, it may be hard to come up with a, an exact cost per unit or an exact price for your components and assemblies in the project. Uh, in that phase, you might rather want to define a range uh, from a minimum to a maximum cost per unit or a minimum to a maximum price. Uh, and VICO Cost Planner allows you to do that after activating the minimum and maximum columns uh, in your Cost Planner view. In this video, I will explain how you can use this functionality. In this video, I will explain how you can use minimum and maximum values for components in your cost plan to define cost ranges for either unit cost or price. We will use the column chooser to activate the required columns in the cost plan view. To start working with the cost ranges functionality, I first need to activate the columns that contain the minimum and maximum values uh, for the components in my cost plan. So in order to do that, I will open the column chooser, and from the column chooser, I select the minimum cost per unit, the maximum cost per unit, as well as active minimum price and active maximum price. I click OK and those two or those four new columns are added to my cost plan view. I then go into the services assembly and I have two components there, plumbing and HVAC, for which I do not know an exact price yet. So what I want to do is enter a, uh, a cost range uh, starting with a minimum then I will have a median and a maximum cost per unit. So we'll go ahead and we'll start to enter a, a maximum cost per unit. And I want to use 30 for that. Then I'm going into the minimum cost per unit and that gives me an error message that says that the minimum cost per unit cannot be higher uh, than the uh, than the median cost. So I first need to type in a median cost in the unit cost cell. And that's going to be 30. Uh, so then I can go into the minimum cost per unit and that is going to be 25 and I change my mind I want to make the maximum cost per unit 33. So now we have a minimum cost, a maximum cost, and a median, and that results in a cost range for the uh, plumbing component. The range is between 250,000 and 330,000, and the median is 300,000. Next I want to use the uh, HVAC which is also based on a total square footage of 10,000 and I want to uh, use a, uh, a median price there uh, which is 44 per square foot which results in a median price of uh, 440,000. Then I would like to work with a minimum cost per unit of 35 and a maximum of 50. And again price range is calculated it's between 350,000 and 500,000. Also, the, the total number adds up to the level above. So 830,000 uh, is the total for both plumbing and HVAC, and uh, 600,000 is the minimum uh, for that assembly. It also rolls up to the project level. Uh, so the ranges that are defined in your cost plan are rolled up throughout your project cost plan. And uh, that is also indicated in the row indicator. So as you can see in a tooltip, um, cost planner indicates where variance, where cost ranges exist and of course that exists on the project level as well. Substructure and shell don't have any cost ranges because I knew the exact prices there. So to compensate for any uncertainty in parts of the cost plan, I activate the minimum cost per unit, maximum cost per unit and active and uh, active minimum and active maximum price that allows me to uh, define cost ranges. During this video I entered minimum and maximum values for some components to define the expected cost range for these items and to determine the variance in the project cost. I used the column chooser to activate the minimum and maximum columns that I needed for this.